Hello, welcome everyone. Uh, back to my video series here. My name is Devin Adams. I'm an instructor here in Tempe, Arizona for Dynamic Worldwide. And I'm a Fortinet instructor and I make these videos for my participants. And uh, in the last two videos, we kind of showed up how to use GNS3 and how to initially configure this Forta Manager. We also turned on Forta Analyzer features and got access to it in our in our NSC5 lab. So uh, I went ahead and I kind of was playing around and it is neat and it is confirmed that we can take these free images from uh, from Fortinet and we can get the Fortinet manager to join the two. So we can use those free licenses to, to manage and to practice. So pretty excited about that. And also because 6.2 just came out, I have just, uh, been introduced to it just like anyone else. So I took this opportunity to upgrade the Forti Manager to 6.2 so they could talk to each other. And I'll talk more about that later on. But um, I went ahead and I, I changed that. So it didn't look too, too different from a, from a management point of view, but I thought I'd go ahead and just take the dive and, and learn what, what's new and what limitations are, are with you guys. So um, let's go ahead and go forward. So in this video, it's gonna be a short one. And we are just going to log into the Forta Manager and explore the GUI. So we're going to take a look at each one of the panes and maybe just poke around on some of the settings, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and go to our Windows machine here. And I'm going to load up a web browser. And I'm going to type in the IP address of the Forta Manager. This is what we did in the last videos. So we get the login screen. Okay. And we type in admin, no password. And uh, right away, it's going to prompt us to do a new password. Now, in reality, that's best practice. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, type in a super secret password here. And then in reality, you would take that admin password, give it a nice long secure password, and then take it, you know, offline somewhere. So it, it stay nice and secure. But we'll talk about administrators at another point. So and administration. Uh, but here we go. So here is the Forta Manager panes, and it looks like I did lose the Forta Analyzer ones when I when I factory defaulted it. That's okay. I can turn those on later. Uh, we'll just stick with the Forta Manager here. So these are our different different panes of management. So uh, some things that are new to me, like this fabric view. Uh, I've been certified in the 5.4, so this fabric view is new to me. Uh, but let's go ahead and start with our system settings. So the system settings is going to be everything related to the 40 manager itself and not necessarily the devices it's managing. So on the dashboard, we get our traditional information about the system. Okay. This is also where we can go to rename the host name. So obviously we can type in something other than, than that. We'll do a 40 manager. Okay. Usually I do some kind of fully qualified domain name there if it was in my internal site and it is free license. That's good for a certain amount of days. So that is why we don't have a serial number here. All right. And then you can see the firmware that we are on. If you need to adjust the system time. Now the system time is pretty darn important, especially if you are collecting logs. So I am here in Arizona, so I'm going to change it to Arizona. All right. There's a little commit button right here. Okay. And then you can see the admins that have been uh, logged in, so on and so forth. And also you can see the uptime, so on and so forth. So once again, that's how we're going to turn on our features. All right. For our 40 analyzer. And I'll do that off camera. So and then we have our resource panes, our alerts, our ports. And then also our licensing. So here we get 10 devices with the free license and the free license is only good now for eight more days because I dropped this thing about a week ago, but it should be plenty for you to practice. And once again, uh, this is made for studying the NSC five and also just to get familiar with the Ford manager for the analyzer. So if you need an additional 15 days, you can always back up your config drop it again in GNS three and keep going from there. So, um, your system resources, I think I've already said, and then, uh, there is network settings here too. Now the network settings, we're, we got to make sure that we have our administration turned on. All right. Now web services is if you are using your Forta manager with, uh, like APIs. So, um, 
That is not the same thing as like the web filtering queries or any of the FortiGuard proxy updates. For that, you'll have to turn on these two services. So this will allow the Forti Manager to essentially become a, uh, a FortiGuard proxy. So it doesn't have to reach out to the real FortiGuard services. And then the default gateway is obviously so traffic can leave. So um, might as well do that. So we'll just say the default gateway is going to be 10.10.10.254. I think that's how you do it. There we go. And this way it will pass off any, any networking traffic it needs um, to the internet to the FortiGate because this is behind a FortiGate to keep it secure. Then we have our admin portals not portals, but our admin users, and we'll set that up. This is brand new, by the way, is using SAML. That's actually pretty darn cool. So, and then the certs that the Forty Manager will recognize. And then we also have in our event log. Now the event log is important because this is where you're going to go to look for things that are happening to the Forty Manager itself. So uh, it can fill up pretty quickly. Um, so just make sure that, you know, they are, they are being rolled and and delete it as needed. So, and you can actually manage those by coming down here in a little bit. So, um, then our task manager is just that is what the Forti Manager is doing. So, when Forti Manager is, um, you know, pushing configs, pulling configs, doing its management, running scripts, they'll all show up here. And what's interesting is if anything gets stuck, you'll see it here and be able to to disable it or to tell it to cancel. We'll probably run to that once or twice. So. And then obviously we can set up SNMP, we can set up a mail server, we can set up an additional syslog server. Uh, and then over here in advanced settings is where we can do things like toggle on ADOM modes. We'll talk about all these later, so on and so forth. So um, not too bad. So that is pretty much the gist of it. So I will go ahead and... Uh, Actually, let's go to all ADOMs real quick. So I'll explain ADOMs here in a moment um, in a different video, actually. But ADOMs are administration domains. So that's where you can go ahead and carve up your uh, Forda Manager into different administration boundaries. So if you had multiple customers or multiple departments or multiple, um, you know, just admins for separation of duties, you can do that. So... And as you can see here, we have a root ADOM and only one ADOM because ADOMs are not enabled. So uh, we will enable ADOMs in a later video, I promise. So, uh, but let's keep on going here. By the way, this is how you can go ahead and, and see who's logged in. Also to update the firmware. And over here is where you can get back to your home screen. So, all right, moving along, our device manager when we start bringing devices in and start managing them, they will show up here. So there'll be two different panes. There's going to be one that are being centrally managed, and there'll be another one for logging if we have the Forti Analyzer uh, configured. This is also where we can go to click into a device and take a look at it in real time, and also to provision system settings. All right. Also, firmwares can be managed here, and also a licenses for those devices that have been um, that have been um, discovered by the Florida manager and also any kind of provisioning templates. Now provisioning templates are going to be a collection of settings that you can apply to devices as they come into the Florida manager to be essentially managed. So, um, and then scripts are obviously just that to run scripts and this SD WAN is brand new. So I am actually pretty darn excited to, to play around with that and find out what that's all about. So, um, but let's go ahead now and look at policy and objects. So with policy and objects, if device managers are individual devices, policy and objects are going to be our, our central store of just that. It's going to be objects. So anything like address objects, uh, even, even users, okay, are all going to be collected here and also our firewall policies themselves. So uh, what's nice about this is that we can import them in from Forta managers that are already uh, in production and we can also have uh, policies pushed down and where the real magic of all of this 
uh, takes place is what's known as dynamic object mapping. So we could call something LAN or trust uh, one time in one object, then dynamically map different IP addresses to those interfaces depending on where they're at. So we'll definitely demo that. But um, what's also really neat though is that you can have one naming scheme and you don't have to have a whole bunch of redundant objects here. So we'll we'll definitely explore policies and policy packages and so on and so forth. So and between the device manager and the policy and objects that really makes up managing the, the FortiGates specifically. So just remember that the device manager is going to be the system side and all the system settings, particularly, um, you know, anything that you'd find like at an admin level. And then the policy and objects are going to be anything that has to do with like traffic flowing through the FortiGate, security policies, security profiles, so on and so forth. So now AP manager uh, is if you're managing central um, APs across multiple 40 gates. So obviously I have nothing to show you here, but it is an actual real-time management system. It's not like a, uh, it's not like FortiView where it's just a collection of statistics or logs. You can actually see the AP points in real time. And that's all done through essentially managing the 40 gates specifically. And then they report back to the Forti manager. So um, I have not gotten too much experience with this, but it looks pretty slick the documentation that I've read it. And VPN Manager, I am just waiting to demo this one because they have made, they as in Fortinet, has made central management of the VPNs pretty darn neat. So uh, you create communities and from these communities you map the gateways and then it pushes down all the settings on the fly. So essentially you can create these very complex mesh topologies with a few clicks. So I'll definitely have to get uh, a video eventually up and running to explore that. So now the 40 fabric itself, that is brand new. I have not done or seen anything with the 40 fabric uh, when it comes to the 40 manager, but I know that the fabric connectors are going to be third party um, APIs that the 40 gates already knows. So they can essentially just plug right in and start communicating with the security fabric. So uh, the more I learn about that, maybe I'll pull out a video then. So, and then with the FortiGuard services. Now the FortiGuard services is important because your FortiGate still need to be licensed in order to use them. And also any licenses for any of the security features have to be valid too. So uh, when the devices join, you'll see them here on this pane. And then you'll also see uh, what their statuses are for each one of the features. So, and then package management is where you can essentially get the Forty manager to proxy all the updates and then you have control with the Forty manager to push down those updates. So one, it's, it's nice to have that level of control because the, the Forty manager essentially becomes the place to do the pushing and pulling instead of FortiGuard. And also you can do scheduling and save you know, latency and things like that um, for your package updates. And you can also measure your baseline, meaning you can see which FortiGates are up to date, which ones aren't up to date, so on and so forth. Now the query server, that's going to be if you have the database of the web filtering proxied onto the Forti Manager. And in my personal opinion, that is worth the price of a Forti Manager alone. So how the FortiGate works is anytime that it goes out to get a web rating, it has to go to a FortiGuard server and it works fairly well. But if you have a Forti Manager, it doesn't have to go out to an actual FortiGuard server. The Forti Manager will proxy the entire web filtering database. That's pretty darn cool. So I know that I've shown previous videos on how to do that, but we'll do it again. Um, but that is definitely worth getting. Also, web, um, email filtering happens in that sense too. So you can actually buffer the entire spam database. So, and then this can show you which FortiGates are doing the most, um, what you call it, the most querying and also what sites are going to the most. So, and then the, the firmware images, yes, you can push down firmware updates to your FortiGates and to your other products here, and you'll see them pop up. Uh, it's quite a neat feature. And then settings is how you can go ahead and point to the FortiGuard services and also point to down to the FortiGates 
and we'll definitely talk about how to set these up so your FortiGates and your Forti Manager can talk to each other instead of having to directly go to the FortiGuard servers itself. So um, that is FortiGuard. Now the Forti Switch Manager, I only deal with VMs as an instructor, as a trainer. So um, I've been waiting for a 40 switch forever. <laughs> I don't have one. Uh, but essentially, guys, I'm, a, <clears throat> I'm assuming that this is just like the APs. It's going to go through the 40 gate to push down the 40 switch management features. So uh, the 40 switch is their product of managed switches. Uh, they as in, you know, Fortinet and so on and so forth. So, but once again, guys, I don't have a 40 switch. So. And then the SOC is the Security Operations Center. This is a fancy dashboard for you to get the, the widgets and also everything that you need to essentially uh, keep an eye out on your system. And you could maybe put this on some kind of monitor in your operation center to kind of see a real time of what's happening. So not to be, um, not to be confused with the, uh, what you call it, the, the 40 view which you'll have to turn on the uh, 40 analyzer features to really see. So, but uh, you really, to get advantage of the, the SOC view, you really want the 40 analyzer to be in place too. And we'll take a, an explore of that when we turn on the, the, uh, the 40 analog features. So, and uh, I believe that is it for this one. So once again, guys, we're just going over the different management panes. There's the device manager to see what devices have been learned and to control individual device settings. Policy and objects is a single database of objects and policies that you can push down to the FortiGates. APs are for APs. VPNs is to create uh, hub and spoke and mush, mesh VPNs on the fly. Security fabric, that is brand new. I'm not too sure how deep that goes, but they are fabric connectors, which are APIs for other objects. Then the FortiGuard services is how your Forti Manager will interact with the FortiGuard and also maybe act as a proxy for it. And then the Forti Switch is once again just to manage our Forti switches through our Forti gates. And then SOC is a security operation center Forti view type um, monitoring tool. And then system settings is where we see the guts of it. So. Uh, I don't like to keep these videos very long, so I will end it here. And that was just a brief explanation of what you're seeing in the Forda Manager. So I am going to go ahead and go to the dashboard. And I'm going to turn on my 4D Analyzer and hit OK. And this will reboot. And when it comes back, it will be a 4D Analyzer. And I'll actually keep that as a second video. So in the second video, we'll go through the Forti Analyzer and take a look at its pains that you will not see with the Forti Manager. So I know that was kind of long, guys, but like I said, it's just a little explanation of what you're seeing when you first log in. And we'll repeat a lot of this as we go through our examples in this video series. So, okay, thank you very much. See you guys next time.